Hi, today I'm giving a quick update on the Ferber Method sleep training of my nine and a half months old. It was night number two last night and it went really well, especially compared to the two hours of crying from the first night. So she usually wakes up twice a night to feed and the first time that she woke up, she basically just complained and talked for like 15 minutes and then fell asleep on her own and then she woke up again two hours later for like her second feed basically and uh, that one was a little bit longer but she basically complained a little bit talked a little bit and then cried and i had to only go in there twice so after five minutes and then after 10 minutes to comfort her and to tell her that she was not abandoned and she was loved and safe and all that stuff and then she fell asleep on her own before the 12 minute mark so yay that's update of night number two so far so good night three beautiful night massive 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 improvement she slept 11 hours she did two or three quacks like little like eh or like meh and then that's it throughout the whole 11 hours I didn't sleep 11 hours because I'm used to waking up <laughs> around 3 a.m. And I couldn't sleep until like, I don't know, 4 or 4.30. But, but, baby slept. Baby slept. So she seems to be understanding that she needs to sleep at night. And her meals are way bigger now. She's just eating more because she probably knows now that she is going to fast for like 10 to 12 hours. And it's lovely. So yeah, massive improvement. Wow! Last update, we are seven nights after we started the sleep training for her method and she has been doing absolutely amazing. Third night, she did absolutely amazing, slept through the night. Fourth night, same thing. Fifth night, we had a little bit of a setback because, not because of the sleep training, but because she refused to take her second nap of the day. So she basically went from 11.30 through her bedtime at 8 without taking any nap. So she was really, really tired when it came to having her dinner. So she didn't eat as much as usual. And even before bedtime her feed she didn't eat as much as usual because she was just too exhausted so around 2 30 that night she did cry and i went in because i knew that she hadn't had that much food before bed i went in and, and nursed her but then night five night six and tonight is going to be night seven it's just been lovely previously before the sleep training she was sleeping on average three to five, six hours straight and feeding twice a night. And now she's sleeping 10 to 11 and a half hours a night straight, which is really nice. And it's allowed myself and my partner to have a date night. And it's just been really nice. I just feel more refreshed, more excited about the day, uh, less on just like surviving the day. And it's been super. Would I recommend it? Absolutely, I recommend this method. If you know that you're ready, if you know that your baby is ready for the method, and if you know that, you know, they don't need anything, so if you know that they're not actually hungry, and they're not crying because of their diaper, or because of XYZ, then absolutely, I highly recommend the Ferber method. One last thing before we tried the Ferber method, we realized that our daughter was eating less and less during meals it was actually kind of a fight we were trying to feed her the amount of food that she was used to and she would not eat that amount of food and then she would drink at night since we started the training she eats 
way more during the day, basically her full meals, way more during mealtime, and way more just before bed as well. She'll like down a full pouch of puree and milk and like she's just going at it because she knows that she's going to be fasting for the next 10 to 12 hours. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to put the Ferber Method schedule up again if you want to take a screenshot. It's also in the part one of this video, which also I'm going to be linking right here. And yeah, take care. Bye!